Money was always uh, an issue um, for me, especially when it comes to like the flow of it. So I found a remedy or a way for me, at least I practice it for, I don't know, three, four years now. And it has helped me, this practice that I did. Um, I'll share it at the end of the tarot, but the first part is going to be um, a tarot reading. And then if you want to learn about what I do specifically for a remedy, I share my secret at the end. Stuck. Trying to process things. Trying to think if things will work out. Now, this is you being creative. This is you like coming up with different ways. You know, you're, you're with your person right now. You don't know where the direction of the relationship is going to be, but you're being optimistic. Well, you know what? At some point, it may go better. At some point, it's going to be good. You know, like this is being optimistic with the situation. Okay. I like that. I like that we're coming in with like processing and thinking and contemplating. Okay, let's see. Um, things has been slowing down. This is what I'm seeing here. Things hasn't been the same. And you're just slowly, like, kind of like, maybe it will, maybe it won't, you know? But you can't let go. Your mind right now is obsessed about staying. Like, this is what I want. This is what I should get. And I'm not letting go of this. You do feel that this connection or this relationship is more of like a, like a tango, like a back and forth. So right now, you know, it's like they may be pulling back, but at some point they'll come back. You know, you think a lot of uh, like means and ways on how um, to be creative on winning this person. Because there's a chase involved here. There is a chase. Tower is here, which is, uh, you know, this is showing the separation. Okay. The tower also symbolizes that the relationship, sometimes it does, uh, it does look like um, it's one-sided. You know, it's like, oh, you know. They're not really putting effort again. You know, they're all about themselves. Okay, and that's, that's, that leads to the separation. Sometimes you run out of patience also with your person. You're feeling unsettled right now with your person. Okay. But you're trying, again, because four of ones here with a tower, you're trying to understand whether this relationship will work. The Four of Wands is a card of stability. Look at that. We agreed. We promise. You know, this is one of your concern here. It's like we did say to each other that we are going to be committed no matter what. Mm -hmm. Which is good. I like that again. Um, with the Four of Wands, easy. The two of you can have a argument. Like there's a fire between the two of you and I feel like that ignites it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's like, again... Either you're the hot-tempered or they are. But you're doing everything. So the magician here is an action card. You got the cups, the swords, so on. You'll do anything for your person. You'll manifest this relationship no matter what. You feel the need to consistently... Um, make them happy you feel this uh, um, part where i'm gonna be optimistic about this i'm learning from some mistakes and i'll be you know like well at some point it's gonna get better yeah this is what you're saying mm -hmm. so you're taking charge you're not scared you're in the part where it's like nothing is impossible it's not over we're not done you're telling your person here that it's like we shouldn't give up because that's the emperor. It can be an Aries. So again, optimistic. You're looking at the part where it's like we've gone through this. We can make it happen. So the separation before is manifested. 
But your person is refusing to communicate. They don't talk, they don't express themselves, they keep themselves locked, emotionally also. You may get a reply from them, one message, that's it. You may hear from them or see them once in a while, but you feel the disconnect because the Four of Pentacles is here. The Four of Pentacles is also a card of, like, they, they take things too serious. You might have said something to them that lead to the separation, Four of Pentacles and the Tower, and now, basically, you're not hearing from them because of that. So they can be overly sensitive. Um, the full card, it is what it is with your person. They're claiming it's like, well, whatever, whatever you want. You know, it's like, you're not enthusiastic. The fool over here is showing decision and choices. They're willing to give this a chance if you are on the same page. With the fool over here, it is showing can be a Pisces or a long distance relationship. But I see here that your person doesn't want no strings attached. That's the fool. Your person is claiming here that it's like, well, it's really you who want a relationship. I wanted what we had. And, you know, um, commitment or if you make it into established relationship, it makes things complicated, you know. But you're not going to be um, pushed. Uh, to settle with those terms because the judgment is here. Listen, I can't be no option. I want you to take this connection seriously. This is the this is the judgment. Mm -hmm. And it's showing here with the Prince of Swords, you're pushing back. You're telling your person that you can't tell me that you don't want no strings attached. So, so it can be just intimate then. And the judgment over is like, oh, so you want to see other people. You're asking your person here. Your person right away, they decide not to talk to you, ignore you. And that conversation happened. So they just bounced. They just left. They ghosted. They don't talk. You haven't heard. Um, and you're here. Temperance, of course. It's like, I wonder what happened. It's like, I'm trying to be considered over here. Ain't going nowhere because I'm hanging over here. So you feel stuck, trying to reconcile, trying to make this relationship work. Temperance is here. Okay. And be a Sag also. So your person says like, you know what, let me think about it. I'm not sure right now, but maybe we can touch base again at some point with this subject if I still want to have a relationship because the tower is there. And for you, it's like you're hoping that this can, like the two of you can reconcile because you're willing to do everything with the magician and the judgment. You're willing to do everything, but I'm not going to be no option or choice with what, you know, with what, how they want it. The star is here. A symbol of hope a connection, a time to heal. So it does look like that at some point, there's something good out of this. The star is the part where you believe and that they believe that even though that you guys are separated with the tower over there, there's a strong chance because this is destiny. Destiny will align the two of you again. So there's gonna be some sort of meeting. The star is strong. So they know, and you know, because temperance with the star that's also, you know, being connected to a soulmate. So inseparable, basically. Well, let's see. Link in the description box below. Let's dive deeper. It's getting spicier. I'll see you there. Welcome to another episode of Consult the Mystic. My name is Sal. Let's go to the question today. How do you attract more wealth? I'm going to take it as wealth because there's a lot of kinds of wealth. But if we are trying to attract good fortune, uh, that's a good question. So if you're trying to attract um, good fortune in your home, um, one thing that we have to understand first before we go for what I would suggest is our house has energy. And I've explained it in the previous video where you would need like, you know, like for example, a certain tool that removes certain negative energy. So given that your house, you've done your cleanse, you've done your protection, um, you know, uh, we call it the essential home kit because it's a protection. You got the selenite and the, the tourmaline. Given that, if you already have that or you have already have your own protection going on in your home, which is good, um, next is like now you can attract. So first we remove, we cleanse because you can't just attr trying to attract things right away. No, no, no. It comes with cleansing the home. That's one in particular, removing the negative energy, blocking it. Mm. Now, going to your question, the Northwest 
part of our house. So you come into your house, right? I would recommend, of course, using the sun as a reference for this. Not the magnetic compass, which is your phone, uh, but of course, you don't have a sundial. I have a sundial outside here, which I would really see the, uh, um, the sun rising from the east, okay? Because that's what I want. That's what, how I use. I use the sun as a reference. I'm, I'm traditional like that. Um, or call me a mystic for that. So now, if you, if you understand where the east, where the sun rises, then it's easy for us to find the north. Then we go to the northeast side of the house. What, this is where this is what you're gonna do. Um, here in my in in my in my place, what I have is a fountain. Okay, so this is a fountain. I show it to you guys. Okay, so this is a fountain. Now this is two part fountain. Okay, meaning um, there's this one part of the bowl. Okay, and then there's this part of the fountain. Now this is just one type of the fountain that we have that you can put in the northeast side of your home when you do this because we it comes with crystal you can choose it comes with crystal this doesn't have right now i wasn't able to get it from our store but you install it ideally okay you would install this during thursday or sunday before the sun rises when i say before the sun rises like 45 minutes if the sun rises around 5 40 then between 5 o'clock to 5 40 a.m when you start to put this uh, fountain in the northeast now let the water run of course 24 7 so when you put it okay so the water is facing your house let's just say this is the wall so you put it against the wall and then the water coming through okay this invites wealth towards your home financially now we're talking about finances right with the wealth part um, wealth also is connected okay to enjoying good fortune now we have like i think we have this one we have around 10 pieces i think of this one and then we have like five more kinds of fountain that comes with the crystal with it you can choose so you can start it either a thursday or a sunday but if you can do this on march 6 that's gonna be good because that's the full moon so that's one thing i would recommend march 6 is coming so right now the time i'm recording this is the 23rd i don't know if it's gonna 23rd right now when i'm recording this i don't know if it's gonna reach to you but if you order now of course and i hope it's gonna 26 yeah it's, it's still it's still time so that one but i don't uh you can also i don't know if you can do this during the venus one when it's exalted but the full moon is good but the full moon comes every 30 days Right? We just finished the new moon on the 20th. So the full moon is when you start to manifest. Now anything new is also good during the new moon. But I work more with the full moon with regards to manifestation. With the new moon, I kind of go inwards for that one. Now you have to understand also that the northeast side of our home is Kuber, which is money itself. Now water is associated with cash flow so water is cash flow water is a source of life water is a source of nurturing this is moon is chandra basically okay now that's how i would work with the um with the fountain over here now i'll put everything in the description box below we don't carry much of this because this one it eats so much space in our warehouse so whatever is there that's it and um again you can always go back to this and reference to this uh to this video when you get yours so that way you can remember how to install it and how to put it and where to put it now if you're asking me has it saved me i mean like meaning bringing fortune I have it 24 7 i have it 24 7 i can tell you that that this one works so thank you very much to whoever has uh you know posted a question and everyone who has a question um to consult with me you can always put it in the comments below and i, I would uh, be more than happy to assist you with anything about mystic i'll see you next time